Hello everyone and welcome. This is part one of six in a series on NetSuite segregation of duties. And in part one, we're going to give you an overview of segregation of duties. We'll discuss the definition of segregation of duties, talk about the three sides of the fraud triangle, and also review with you the key permissions to separate within NetSuite. So segregation of duties is the concept of separating incompatible duties so that one person doesn't have all duties. And the three areas that we're trying to separate is authorization, which means approving of transactions, safekeeping, which means holding the assets or access to the assets, and three is record keeping, keeping track of the asset or the liability. And what we want to do is have two to three people required to complete a process. In internal controls, we are concerned about errors and fraud. And fraud generally happens when three conditions are present and help make it possible. And so to achieve fraud, there has to be a motive, rationalization, and opportunity. So we'll explain further. So motive is someone needs money or has extreme pressure, or even the perception that they need money. That's their motivation to commit fraud. So oftentimes we will see grandmothers who are really innocent and their families are in trouble, whether it's medical bills, something's happening within their family that causes them to have this motive or this motivation, or it could just be the perceived money to uh, buy certain things or live a particular lifestyle, that's usually one of the first indicators of fraud is uh, people living way outside of their, their means. The second part of the fraud triangle is rationalization. The fraudster, the person rationalizes his or her actions that it's okay, it's acceptable. And a lot of times it starts out with the company has a lot of money anyways, or I don't get paid enough for this job, I might as well take this money. Uh, another one that really starts is this is only temporary, I'll make it up or I'll repay them. So it starts small. The third side of the fried triangle is opportunity. That's when process or systems or circumstances allows the person to commit fraud without someone else noticing or detecting or stopping them or preventing them. So in our case, we're going to focus on the opportunity, particularly around systems, which is NetSuite, because that's the part that at this point we can best control. And within NetSuite, there are three things that uh, cause the most conflicts. And because of our limited time together, there are actually lots of conflicts, but I had to focus on a couple, a handful that I thought would be most helpful to, to companies. So we focused on three particular areas. It's creating vendors and paying bills to vendor is, is a high risk, creating customers and issuing credit memos to those customers is another area. And the third one is creating journal entries and approving those journal entries. So those are the three areas. And in future sessions, we'll actually get into the details of NetSuite, the permissions within NetSuite. So to recap, we discussed the definition of segregation of duties. We discussed the three sides of the fraud triangle that's motive, rationalization, and opportunity. And we discussed the key items to focus on within NetSuite, which is creating vendors and paying bills to those vendors, creating customers and issuing credit memos to those customers, or creating journal entries and approving those journal entries. So in future sessions, we'll go into more details. Thanks so much, and we'll talk to you soon.